Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays West of Loathing, where uh, we moved ahead pretty aggressively with the El Vibrato stuff on the last episode, but we also, let me write down the title of the last episode, Bulrocracy, it's a surprisingly hard word to spell, and by surprisingly, I mean, why would you be surprised by that? It's a portmanteau of a word that's already hard to spell from a different romance language, plus it's a pun, it's, anyway. Your El Vibrato transponder thingy bleeps, and you follow the bleeps down to a shallow cave you think might be a bear den. We've had this one a couple times, but we got punch cards. I gotta see what the the difference between a punch card complicated and a punch card normal is. Uh, one's more complicated. Ah, huh, you're so funny, why don't you work for the game developers? This is a piece of thick paper with dozens of square holes in it. It looks like the ones they used for the census back in 19... well, 1890, but way more complicated. So I don't know what really we do with these. Presumably we feed them into a computer at some point. But let's talk to the mayor, because for now we're, we're working down his list of 99 problems. The soup shortage. We keep a munis municipal soup kitchen open to those who are down on their luck. Which is pretty much everyone around here. But we've run out of soup and we need someone to go fetch some more from the soup stock load. He gives you a stack of bread bowls to carry the soup in. You discovered a new map location. Soup stock load. Every single one of these has been long. So I'm a little scared. It, do it doesn't seem that easy. You just go down there fill five bowls of soup. A grim looking cowboy rides up and blocks your path. Hold it. This area is full of cows, and I can't let you go any further. It ain't safe for regular folk. Y'all go ahead and turn back now. Well, thanks for the warning, but what if I refuse? I'll use force if I gotta. You're gonna ensure my safety by beating me up? I recognize the conundrum, but that's the times we're living in. Susie, go for it. Appreciate the warning, but I never let a damn cow tell me where I can and can't go, and I ain't about to start now. I get what you're saying, but I think you're underestimating. You want to count the notches on my rifle butt? Mm, all right. It's on your own heads, then. Ain't nothing new. The cowboy waves the two of you past. No experience! Should have just murdered him. Gotten the experience instead. Someone bent their yucca? Is this like a, a Ralph Wiggum? You bent my Wookiee! Yucca, yucca. A yucca, yucca, doo doo, yeah. Let's go in. Okay. These lockers have been pretty picked over from the looks of them. You got smelling salts, kerosene, and a caged canary! 20% spooky resistance. Not bad. There's a toolbox on this bench, but it's locked and uh, welded to the bench. We need lock picking two and needle. We have five needles. I think we can go for it. You got a hammer and a monkey wrench. One more indecent accident. We've never had a wrench or a hammer, so I think that that was definitely worth it. Okay, we got one bowl of soup. Maybe it is going to be this easy. Two bowls of soup. Whoever was camping here left in a hurry. A knapsack. Search it. We got a cultist mask. It's a hat that gives you more mysticality. The elevator is inoperative. Attempt to fix it. You see three different sized bolts on the side of the elevator. They, which are all very loose. There's a sign that says 3,200 pounds of pressure required. And some sort of gauge which currently reads zero, whatever that means. Okay, let's turn the number three bolt. The gauge now says 411. Give me a moment here. Uh, turn the number five bolt. 706. Which means that that's a difference of 295. Does it still go up by 295 if we turn it again? If we, if it does, it should be a thousand and one. Okay, good. So that definitely raises it by 295. Um, and then turn the number seven bolt. So we're at 1001, we turn the number seven bolt, we go to 1162, which is a 161 increase. We've gotta get the pressure to 3200. So I just wanna test and make sure the first one really does raise it by 411. So right now it's 1162. 
plus 411 is 1,573. Yes, okay, so it really definitely does raise it by that much. It wasn't just like it multiplies it by 10 and then it adds 411 or something like that. Uh, and we need to get to 3,200. There's probably a, a really good way to reason with I assume if you go over, they're going to stop you. Um, but there's, there's a way to reason with this. We're about halfway there right now. We need to add a 7 in the, um, in the final column. Which for right now means we should hit each one of these once. And that should leave us at an even number. 2440. Now we need 760. Um... We, we can't hit 760. It's not... Wait, maybe we can. One second. I don't think we can, but I'm trying to work through it here. What about like six times one second? Maybe we just have to get over it? I don't know. So, I mean, if we just have to get over it, it's pretty easy. We'll just keep clicking number seven. 3245. You guess there's too much pressure at this point. Okay, so we gotta try again. Alright, well, um, we can think about this in a logical fashion. Now, I, this is, you, you probably don't want to be solving this kind of stuff live on uh, YouTube, but let's do it, you know? We got 411, we got 295, we got 161. Certainly, it's not just as easy as hitting 161 19 times. And then adding one more. Because that'll put us... Well, you know what? Let's try it. Because this would actually be hilarious if it worked. Four. Five. It's, it's not going to be the exact number, but it might be within the tolerance rating. It's fully tightened? Oh, no. So we got to 1288. Um, let's, let's just try trial and error for a second here. We'll go three, five. Um, five. Three. It puts us at an even number. We need to get 500. It's not conceivable. We're going to overshoot it by a little bit here um, by turning these two. 3290. Too high. Okay, so we need to probably overshoot it, but by as little as possible. So let's try it the opposite way. We'll go 411, 822, 1233, 1644, 2055. Okay, so we need to find a way to get 1145 or close to it, but over. Um, how do you get 1,145? 7 times 161 is 1,000, wait, sorry, 700 plus 420 plus 7, which is 1,127. So we would like grossly overshoot it, or if we if we went there. But what if we do six times 161, which is really just 1127 minus 161? Dude, I forgot how to subtract. By the way, uh, I forgot how to subtract at least with uh, like a pen and a pad. I'm like, you got to carry the one, but. I definitely do not think that 1127 minus 161 is 2016. That doesn't seem like it's right. I'll just subtract 100. 1027. And then subtract... 1, 27, 34. Subtract 34 from 1,000. 966. 966 plus 295 is probably going to overshoot it, but... I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, let's... I mean, it's getting to the point where it's a little bit silly, so I think we should just go for it. So we're gonna turn this, let's turn it five times for now and see where we're at. 28.60. So, 411 doesn't put us over by much. 30, 32.71 is too high. There's, there's obviously like a better way to do this, but I kind of resent it from like a YouTube standpoint. So I'm just going through them one at a time now. Is there any way we can get 599? It would have to be one of the middle ones. 
four, 411 will overshoot it. Like two of these. 3218! 3218 is too much! Now you're being unreasonable. This is an out of control puzzle. How's it going, Kate? Yes, I assume so. That's a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, that is getting a quest in real life. Okay. Um, well, we gotta. It doesn't really matter the order in which you do this. In fact, I am actually a moron. I recognize you've been watching this for five minutes now, but I'm stubborn and I have to try to solve it. Obviously, we have to turn all of them a certain amount. And we've already tried some of the unreasonable ones. So we got 411, we got 295, and 161. What if, and we gotta hit 3200, this is where I'm actually gonna get like, you're gonna laugh, but I'm gonna get like an actual calculator out here. I mean, can I put the Windows calculator on screen? I'd actually, it'd probably be better to do Excel, but I actually don't have Office on this, so that's fine. We'll, we'll do it like this. Add, this is the high quality YouTube uh, content that you aspire to do. Capture specific window, window, calculator, Oh, come on. Don't do me dirty like this. You're not going to capture the calculator? We can still do this. Give me a moment. You're not <laughs> I don't think you can see what I see right now. And that no, Tomo, we can't do this right now. Daddy's having a moment, okay? Cancel. At this point, I've just accepted you're either still watching this episode or you've given up on me and that is either one of those is completely fine. So we're going to add Display capture, calc, and then we're gonna, that's the one, go like this, and like this. Okay. Studio mode transition, turn off studio mode. Okay. So we got 411, 295, and 161. Let's just start with some random numbers. What if we did four times, excuse me, sir? 4 times 411, 1644. And then 1644 is about, we got 15 something left. So what if we then did like 4 times 295 is 1180 plus 1644 is 2824. And then two 161s, which is 3.22. It's going to be like slightly too small. Okay, so what, what if we did five? Are we, can we do brackets in this calculator? Can we like, is there like an advanced button or something that allows us to do? No, okay. Well, we've, we've entered the freaking minus realm here, dude. There's probably like better ways to do this. But I'll tell you what, let's do four times 4.11 which is 1644, five times 295, which is 1475, which plus 1644 is 31, and then plus 161 is too high. Okay, so we definitely do not want four five. What about three five? No, that's gonna take off like 120. What about three six? Mafia, it's three times 411. It's 1233. Six times 295. 1770. Plus 1295. Plus 161. Never gonna work, dude! Okay, well let's let's mix it up then. What if we tried eight times 161? That's 1288. I wish I had charts in front of me. So that's 1288. 3200 minus 1288 is 1912. What if we did 4 times 411? 1644. So we want 1644 plus 1288. And then plus 295. 
32-27. It's going to be too high. I'm 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 out of my element here. How do we get 27 out of these elements? We need to get 27 lower. I know how we do it. We use 6 161s 1295 and 416 Four 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 elevens. Your boy, I think, has gotten it. Get out of here, calculator. Four. One, two. Wait, wait, wait we just gotta push this one too far. Get out of here. I don't I don't wanna see you anymore. Okay. One, two, three, four. Then one. Then one, two, three, four. Five, six. My math is not right. But we can hit... My math is not right, but we made it work. <laughs> okay. Um, you tighten the bolt with one complete revolution of your wrench. You hear a plate snap firmly into place, and the elevator seems to be humming with life. Looks like it's working now. Like I told you, none of these puzzles are as easy as they appear. That one... You know, give me a... Uh, Give me a compiler, problem solved. Give me my human brain, no chance. What's going on over here? Your El Vibrato transponder goes crazy when you get near this crack. That's gotta be like a soup pot over there, right? So we got five bowls of soup now. We might as well fight the snakes in the snake pit. There are hundreds of snakes lounging around in this pool of hot soup. They got 81 HP each. Dude, I, I believe in the power of the shooting nanny. You're going to work this time. Minus 3 HP. What is your moxie stat? Dude, shooting nanny is actually trash. These guys are doing real damage. I mean, part of it is also... I am an, an idiot, as you saw. From the, trying to work out that math puzzle for like the better part of 9 minutes or something. But um, So you've got to get dusted. And then, I mean, we could just kill you, so we'll do that. Hey, <laughs> thanks for the subscription. Got 18 meat, stewed snake, two venom, 40 XP. I'm not gonna farm snake meat here, but I'm, I'm fine with this. Let's break through, and we're in a new area. We need a keystone. Uh, Kuzano Kroka's Tasta Benokro Kuzkro, and then of course, uh, the screen on this machine says, Kuzano Kroka's Tasta Benokro Kuzkro Hopa Kroka's Tasta. Light pulses in a pentagonal aperture on the side of the machine. Pentagonal. If we get a, a keystone? They might be hexagonal. At least, you know, we found another location. The sun may rise in the east, at least. It's settled in a final location. So, I, I'm not saying I'm the world's smartest man, but I do think a lot of people are just going to Google uh, the answer to that puzzle. We figured it out for ourselves. Now, should we really be proud of ourselves for figuring out something just through trial and error? Uh, excuse me, when you do it scientifically, it's not trial and error, it's called brute force, and it's a genuine technique. So, uh, sucks to your ass, Mar. Breadwood mayo. Did you bring back the soup? I need all five bowls filled, mind. Got them right here. You're a real lifesaver, I was ready to nod my own beard. That would have been a shame. Okay, now about that lumber. All right, well, you've helped me out quite a bit, so I reckon I can set you up with what you need for that bridge. Let's go. We have actually accidentally solved the bridge problem. Now, are we going to do the rest of this guy's quests? Probably, because they tend to be funny. So let's see what we've got here. Look at the problems board. The stolen yeast. You glance at the problems board, which offers a selection of current issues as well as a dire warning. Which problems do you want to offer to help with? We take our yeast supply very seriously here in Breadwood, and that dang yeasty gang made off with the whole lot. A couple of fellas said they saw them loitering around the old brewery, so that's probably where they've made their hideout. We need that yeast back. Alright, let's investigate the yeasty boys. You spot a horse skeleton lying a few yards off to the side of the trail. You tied Tim to a tree just out of sight of it. No sense of scaring him. And investigate. Somehow its saddlebags are still intact. Maybe the big red plus signs embroidered on the sides of them added to their durability. So they must be medicine. Yeah. Wow. Orthopedic boots plus 20 experience. And then a lot of uh, surgical gin. No, a lot of medical supplies. 
Schmaltz. It's a cluster of gin blossoms. That makes sense. Nothing outside. Okay. Beer hose. It says beer hose. You're not really sure what purpose it might have served. It's a beer vat, or at least it's a vat. It is not guaranteed to actually contain beer. The dead guy's hat got knocked off, and it's covered in yeast. Yeast covered hat. Plus five mysticality. Kind of like having the AP right now, to be honest. This yeast, that yeast beast seems to have killed this guy pretty thoroughly. Some kind of crazy yeast monster has apparently broken loose from the vats and eaten some of the bandits. I guess they brewed up something they couldn't put down. They could barley contain it. You'll have to hop to it if you want to prevail here. I'd, I'd prefer to sample the contents first. It's almost pure ethanol. Blah. Okay, well, we got no choice if they won't let us use the beer hose. Oh. Devise a cunning plan. Requires 20 moxie. This is why we haven't eaten anything today. We need one moxie, so... Like, very simply, we can consume an all-stats upgrade. Like, uh, military-grade whiskey. And then devise a cunning plan. It occurs to you that you could use this hose to spray the beast down with the high alcohol fluid in the vat. To draw a tasteful analogy, ethanol is basically yeast pee, so the beast would probably be very displeased. Move the hose. You unscrew the hose from the water pipe and hook it up to the vat. Hope this works. You hose the yeast down, the yeast beast down with almost pure ethanol. It makes wild burbling sounds, which are probably the yeast equivalent of screams. It doesn't take long for it to stop thrashing around, and it quickly dissolves into a pile of glop. Well, it basically already was a pile of glop, but it gets even gloppier. 200 experience. And the remains of the horrible yeast beast. I guess you could probably take some back to the mayor. It's probably still good, right? You get a half ton of yeast. My god. So this whole yeast theft business doesn't seem to have gone well for you guys. Yeah, no, I, uh, are you a bounty hunter? Relax, the mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Oh, okay, well, the yeast is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread, is all. I know a bit about brewing and figured if we came back with a couple of kegs, nobody would mind so much that we stole the yeast. No offense, but it seems like you aren't much of a brewer. Hey! Well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my... Okay, well, I guess it was my fault. But I understand what happened. These vats are old, and we didn't clean them properly first. Because we was in a hurry. I think there was some frogs living inside one of them. And you figured you could use the extra hops? Ha ha. Ha ha. If you're sure you've got it figured out, you could set up shop in dirt water. Oh? Yeah, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. I'd love to have my own place. Okay, I'll go check it out. Dude. And we got some Schmaltz Blue Ribbon. SBR. That's actually really good. It increases all of our damage by 15 for the rest of the day. Kind of amazing, actually. Take me to Breadwood. That was actually like the easiest one. Your transponder beeps indicating an ordinary looking copse of trees just over that next ridge. Well, we might as well check it. Maybe we'll get something useful here. And slowly beeping. The transponder, that is. Starts beeping at a medium tempo and volume. Oh, hello. This thing looks tough and pretty attentive. Not really, though, because of the whole, you know, you're dead in two shots thing. We got scraps and 30 experience. Really, that's it? It's got to be more to it. It reaches a deafening volume. Okay. It's a huge portal. Right, and we just immediately walked out, as usual. The monolith is dark. There's some graffiti scratched in this machine next to a single big button. It says, uh, No hanoksta onbikuz no shalaze vipupu. <laughs> Press the button. It does nothing. Ooh, okay. Nokoro pacha zakusmono puchezebe bega. Stakuzom basta nogacha. Pabu stakuzom buga kuzlazik stakuzom. Um. Benokro stazuzom? Buga benokro. Ah, well, then, like, Kroka's benokro. Nicho nokoro pacha zakusomno puchezebe. Gapachano stanakpa 
Nakazta Zakuzmono Pujazeve. Um, Benokro Stakuzom. Buga Benokro. Okay. Um, Krokos Benokro. Um, Buga Nicho? Stanopka Nakazta Zakuzomno Pujazeve? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, dude. I still think this might be like something station. To go here, Anon, to go here, poo poo. I don't know. Leave the terminal. Obviously, we're not doing anything here. Push the button. Let's make it, it's probably like a coffee maker or something, right? Okay. Either way, we're getting sidetracked. This is a whole different, like, Fez puzzle we got going on here. We just need to give the mayor his stuff back. A clacking hissing sound draws your attention to a skeleton limping out of the shadows. He's wearing the dry-rotted tatters of an old army jacket and is so full of bullet holes that he's more a skeleton-shaped cloud of hovering bone splinters than a skeleton. He must have what they call true grit. Get hornswoggled, son. Well, look at you! It sure is your lucky day running into me like this. Hiss. I just happened to run a skeleton spackle and plastering service. Here's my card. I'll just fold it up and tuck it into your eye socket there so you won't lose it. Come by the shop tomorrow and I'll fix you right up. You saunter away while the puzzled skeleton tries to dig a blank piece of paper out of his eye socket with broken fingers. What an idiot. All right, Mayor. Any luck recovering our yeast from those bandits up at the old Schmaltz Brewery? Yep. Well done. That was quite a help. Thank you. And you know what? What else you got? The missing bread. You glance at the problems board, which offers a selection of current issues as well as a dire warning. Which problem do you want to offer help with? The Baker Boys cleaned out our bank. And that's not a bit fabulous if you ask me. Fortunately, they have been they have not been too secretive about the location of their hideout. Can you get our bread back? I mean the place is called Breadwood. We have to have some bread. If all I have to do is shoot people, I'm set. If we gotta do some arithmetic, might be tough. You run into a goblin chef. You can tell they're a chef by their hat and their big fork. Well, I guess either they're a chef or they've recently eaten a chef. Hey, hello, a human, hey! Hello, a goblin. Looking for tuna. Seeing it? Tuna? This being the desert, no tuna here for miles. What you saying? Tuna is local delicacy. We're gonna talk to it, obviously. I love talking to these guys. Tuna, you meaning a fish? Swimming thing? Crazy human. A tuna isn't swimming. This a desert. Wear it to swimming. Well, yeah, that's my point. A tuna is round and green with red knobs. Pokey spines having. Oh, some kind of cactus? Like a prickly pear or something? Yes, duh. Well, I don't... You're fine. I don't need to fight you for no reason. I could, but I don't need to. Lady cactus? No. Hey, guys, one sec. I just need to case the outside of your establishment first. Just garbage, huh? These teenagers seem dispirited and are trying to drown their sorrows with big mugs of water. Maybe they misunderstood the idiom. Hey, you boys wouldn't know about some bread that went missing, would you? Aw, oh, nuts! I told you we'd get in trouble, Billy! Shut up, Jerry! Way to just blab everything, dude! Calm down, you two. The mayor just wants his bread back. Hand it over and the trouble you're in will be minimal. It ain't that simple, mister. We sold the bread for meat to start up this bakery. Why? Because we wanted to make something of our lives. Everybody in Breadwood is just bums. Plus, like, everyone needs bread, right? So we figured we'd make it big. Okay, well, no problem. We take the mayor the bread you've made and we call it even. Oh, yeah, no problem. Except for the fact that we don't know a dang thing about making bread, it turns out. All we ended up with is weird lumps. Oh, that ain't true, Billy. The last loaf we tried was almost right. Yeah, sure, that one was nearly edible, but we're practically out of ingredients. Maybe I can help? I might know someone who could help you. Do you know Louise Lethrope? No, who's that? She might be the solution to your problems. Let me head on over to where she lives and talk to her for you. Let's, dude, let's do it. Louise Lathrop, who's, oh! Hey, looking for herbal remedies? No, 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 she was like, I hate this place, right? I wanna get out of here? You know somewhere that's hiring a baker? Heck, even I'm paid to be better than this if it comes with room and board. I do happen to know of a bakery that needs some help. Really? That's wonderful. Oh, jeez, I can't go like this, though. I'm filthy. Nobody would ever let me step foot in their kitchen looking like this. Do you have a bar of soap I can mooch off you? 
Her face falls. And here I thought my problems were over. Listen, I really hate to impose, especially since you already helped me out of... Helped me out by telling me about this job, but if you could bring me a bar of soap, I'd really appreciate it. Alright, just because I like you, I'll bring you a bar of freaking soap, okay? I'm assuming there's a store in Redwood? Hold it right there. A bandit steps out of the bushes at the side of the road. He's pretty raggedy, but also extremely burly, like a scarecrow stuffed with footballs. He hefts a pistol that could be described as a hand cannon without getting metaphorical. Give me your dough, or else. Fight him? Do you know who I am? Surrender a hornswoggle. We gotta pull this. You notice a little breadwood pin on his lapel. Do you know who I am? Maybe you should ask the fellas back at the Buttered Biscuit who's been getting things done around here lately. Oh, uh, Thurnlian? That's right, nor trouble, Thurnlian. Now why don't you hand over your gear and next time maybe you'll remember faster. Oh, sorry. 69 meat <laughs> and an intimidating six gun. Plus five muscle, 10 to 13 damage, it's not bad. Really? Can I, can I buy something from you? Just drinks, huh? So we probably, in that, I mean, we could meet Wandering Sally, perhaps, but I think we gotta go back to Dirtwater Mercantile in that case. Get a bar of soap. Travel back to Lazy A Dude Ranch. I'm surprised I remember these locations, honestly. Gotta solve all their problems for them, dude. Here's your soap. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. You give her a bar of soap in direction of the Bakery Boys Bakery. Sure feels nice to help out. I mean, yes and no, because now I gotta go back to the Baker Boys hideout here. And hopefully they have some bread for me, I take it back to the mayor, and then I'm done with his storyline. We've been ambushed by a hell cow. Why tempt yourself? Protect your chest, Loveless. Give me your meat. 189 meat. Now we're talking. You see Louise Lathrope busily baking bread. Billy Baker hops to his feet as you enter. Hey, thanks for sending Louise over. She sure knows a ton about baking. Yeah, we're gonna be Major League Bakers with her around. Well, I mean, she's doing it then. You guys should really diversify. She's gonna put you out of a job when she starts her own indie bakery across the street. You got 40 loaves of bread. Mayor, th I'm just saying, I don't take much stock in achievements. This better give me a steam achievement. Your transponder beeps indicating a spot on the horizon. You spur Tim towards it to investigate and find a well. Just a well. You invest, oh, you discover a new map location, curious abandoned well. Nah, get it next time. For now, you, sir. Did you get our bread back from those miserable baker boys? I sure did. I did get an achievement. You don't see it, but it's called our daily bread. Thank goodness for that. Another missed payday would have caused a riot for sure. The mayor looks pretty relaxed now that the camp has only one problem. What's the, what's the problem? Bad lumber deal. We're giving lumber to the railroad company for like no meat at all, and that's bad. Well, it's good for me. Hey, thanks for watching. We solved a lot of problems on this episode. Apologies for the arithmetic that we had to do in the middle section, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time, partner. It won't let me.